c'est là Et oui, c'est bien là Nous sommes dans le nord ici, le grand nord, tout à fait donc au nord du Danemark, dans les îles du Jutland. Et c'est là, dans la région du Jutland, et c'est là qu'on va trouver le plus grand hara de galopeurs au Danemark et même dans toute la Scandinavie en général. Et regardez à l'intérieur de Yortebo Farm, je tout est Yortebo, nous avons une légende vivante ici, vous l'aurez reconnu, c'est Apellomètre, le meilleur cheval de tous les temps dans toute la Scandinavie et son meilleur étalon qui fait la monte ici, à côté de la patronne, gérée par la patronne, Iben Buskop. Hello Iben, how are you Hello, today? hello, how are you Fine, fine, fine. Welcome to Denmark. Welcome to Denmark. It's a little yeah, bit cold sometimes, but... Uh... I'm excused for the horrible weather. No yeah. problem, no problem. It's a... Uh... An amazing farm that we have seen. Now, can you explain us how big and how, how uh, what is the history of Yotobo, please? Yotobo was started more than 50 years ago by my mom and dad, and they have expanded it gradually. Uh, started with a five, six, seven mares, and today we have a little more than 30 mares here at the stud farm. We stand four stallions, and most of the mares are our own, so we breed here in this Denmark for the Scandinavian market mainly. We uh, have of course a Pelometra who has been our star from France and he's been amazing as a stallion for us and um, is the leading stallion in Scandinavia by far. And uh, we have Muha Jim that we released from Redberry Stud Farm and he uh, has his first crop, his three year olds here and uh, he just won the Danish Derby and the two Guinnesses this year. So I think we are very lucky with the stallions we have here. We have. 80 hectares of land, a nice combination of sand and, and good quality land to breed the horses. That we find is important. You know, it's not that uh, different from France, actually. Yes. We don't have, we have maybe one or two days with snow in the winters. Only. And uh, we have, uh, no, it's a nice climate. The horses can be out every day, all year round. We are expanding gradually from here and then we have bought another farm with 20 hectares where there was nothing there but old buildings but now we have uh, built 21 boxes up there mm -hmm. and a lot of paddocks so we have that also. We have some nice summer grass down by the river as I explained where mares and foals are all mm. summer. For us to make, we need here in Scandinavia to make strong horses that can be two year olds, three year olds, and also win the derby. You mm. know, it's a smaller uh, market, so we need to make really strong. My father was in Duville first time in 78, uh, and we started buying one, two, three mares in France every year to get into the stud farm, the mares in full, preferable, because then we get some yearlings of high interest for the Scandinavian market by different sires. This year we have a Zarak yearling, for example. A Zarak? Yes. The we only Zarak in Scandinavia, I guess. Yes, I can guarantee you that. Mm. Yes, we, uh, we bought a nice mare in uh, foal to him. Uh, and so we, we try to, you know, every year buy a little better mares and better mares. And the friends, the mares we bought in Duville and the French mares have been amazingly lucky for us. That has... Uh, are you, for, what, for what kind of money you buy the, the, those mares? What kind of budget? We are buying from 15 to 30,000 mm. euros. So it's in that area. It's not big money, but for this market, we sell all of them. All? When? Where? We, some we sell private, but we have one big uh, yelling sale in Scandinavia. It's in Denmark. It's Scandinavian yelling sale in September. It's in near Klampenburg okay. and a nice venue there, very near Klampenburg. And uh, this year we have uh, 24 yearlings to sell there. That's been our uh, trademark that you can find a horse here every year. You, you, if you find the right ones, you will have some classic winners. Mm. 